welcome to watch the Ding Chuan Digital Readout and Linear Scale Installation video. As you all may know, that the Digital Readout and the Linear Scale system always gives the convenience, enjoyment, and the accuracy to the operators when they are operating the manual machines. It is so good to use, but it is such a pain for them to install them onto the machines. And today, we will show you how to proceed this installation process. We will take our bridge port as a demonstration. And this video will involve five parts. Okay, let's go ahead to see what I am talking about. The first part will be the unit introduction. Okay, let's open the box and to see what we will use today. Okay, that's what we all we have taken out from the box. This is a 3-axis digital readout and uh, this is the menu of this digital readout. Here is the screw for installation, the bracket. This is the power cable and this will be the tool holder used together with this bracket. This is a linear scale package pattern. Let's open to see what we have got. Okay, that's the wall what we have taken out from the linear package. This is a 900 mm scale and uh, it's covered here. The screws, washer and shim for the installation. And uh, this is a 400 mm scale and uh, the, it's covered at the pad strip for the installation. This is a 450 mm scale cover, pad strip and uh, the screws shim washer for the installation. Here also we got a menu. Uh, on it there is a brief introduction for the installation. You can also use this when you are during the installation. And these are the brackets for the installation. Let's see, let's move to see this linear scale. And uh, we have taken out the cover. This will be the pad strip for the installation for some machines. When the base level is not so good, we need to use this to build another good base level for the installation. As you can see, there are installation holes. These two holes are for the pad strip installation onto the machines. After installed wheel of this pad strip, we can install the linear scale onto this pad strip. There are two installation holes for the linear scales. Here, we move to have a look of this digital readout. As you can see, there is a PU cover. Uh, for this digital readout, during your operation, you can leave it on for the protection against the coolant water and the oil. But for today's, we have we can have a better look of the demonstration. I will take it out for show you. As you know, this is a full function and a smart digital readout, and uh, we we have inserted three models inside: uh, mini machine model, EDM model, laser models. Uh, we also we can. For some customers, they want to buy a 3-axis digital readout, but uh, just install 2-axis. Later, he will consider to buy another axis, so we have the functions to close one axis. Just to use 2-axis on this 3-axis digital readout. I will show you some basic parameter settings. First, we turn on the digital readout. To press mm inch button to enter the model choose. This will show you the models we have now. 3A means 3 axis for leaders. Use the direction button to switch the model. 3M means 3 axis for mini machines. 3E means 3 axis for EDM model. Also, <coughs> to choose how many axis we will use, press the button 1. Here we show the 3V, that means 3 axis we will use to use the direction button to switch. 2V, that means 2 axis just will be used. I will show you. To press the dot button to save the parameter settings. Now, just the 2 axis we displayed. This axis closed. I will show you again. As you can see, that now we just used the 2 axis.
but now we need to switch back to 3-axis again we turn off the digital readout turn on again and press MMH button when the digital readout is during the self-checking process please remember that this setting need to press the MMH button during the digital readout is during the self-checking process now we press button 1 to 3 way that means 2 axes we will use here we also can see to 1 axis but now we need to switch back to 3 axis again 3 way that is that's, that is means we will use 3 axis also we can choose because for some western customers for the inch model there sometimes some customers want to use 5 digits after during the inch model but some customers just want to use 4 digits during the inch model so we can also choose how many in digits we can use to press the dot 2 that inch 5 that means uh, 5 digits were used under the inch model here we can choose 4 that means during the inch model we will just use 4 digits and uh, to save these parameter settings we just press the dot button we switch the mm inch this is metric model we switch to inch model now you see they just follow digits okay. now we know how many axes we will use and uh, the model switch by settings by switching MMH button during the digital readout uh, self-checking process we move to another process to set the parameter settings by press the dot button during the digital readout is during self-checking process we will show you now pressing the dot button during the self-checking and uh, here we can see that it's a linear tab this DRO can connect it used together with the linear scale, also a rotary encoder. The, here this axis displays linear, that means now we can use it together with the linear scale by pressing X0. That shows rotary. So this moment at this moment, this axis can connect it with the rotary encoder to displace the angle. Here we back again to choose the linear scale. And also we switch to see what we can see next. That's the resolution settings. Here we have some options in the software by pressing the X0. That means 10 micro, 1.1 micro, 0.2 micro. We go back to 5 micro. Same to the rest axis, press this button, Y0 or 0. 0 0.5, 1 micro, 2 micro, 2.5 micro, and 5 micro. Same. This is also the same setting. 10 micro, 0 0.1. We go back to 5 micro. And uh, next, we to see why each we can sit. This is a direction setting. Uh, to to sit, which direction is negative or or positive by pressing X0 also same also same here that's a composition setting for this this is a linear composition we press X0 to go on linear type settings compositions we go back to linear that, that's all what we can see it to save this parameter settings, we press dot, dot buttons here. The second problem will be that it is not current for this whole system. The first reason you need to check is whether the machines, after, some, after long time running, the vibration of the machines will cause the screw loosening. At this moment, you need to check the scales fixed if not fixed to tighten with the machines and uh, the second reason will be the resolution setting the resolution seated on the digital readout need to be same as the linear scales such as if the linear scale is 5 micro resolution you need to set the resolution on the digital readout as 5 micro also 
Previously, we have introduced the parameter system settings, and now we will show you the two common functions which is used frequently. That is that are the diameter and the radius change, and also the linear composition. First, will be the diameter and the radius change. Step one, we'll turn on the degree dot and press mm inch button immediately and then choose the model to L. L means the neighbors and press the dot button to save the parameter settings. Now this digital ray dot is for the neighbors. At this moment, press X button and then the half button. As you can see, there is a triangle displayed there. This means the diameters. This is the diameters. And how to set back to the radius, press X button and then half button. That will be the radius. For the linear composition functions, we also need to turn on the digital ray dot. And then press the dot button and use the direction button to choose. This will be for be the compositions. Linear indicates the linear composition. We can also to change by press X0. That will be unlinear. Unlinear indicates the unlinear compositions. Now we need to switch back to the linear composition. And uh, now we press the dot button to save the above parameter settings. How to get the compensated value? We have a formula here. LD, LD means the displayed value on the digital ray dot. LA means the actual value. And uh, there, LD minus LA and divide LA, then multiply by 1000. That will be the compensated value. We will take an example. For example, uh, the displayed value is 601. And the actual value is 